Our story began in 2008 when the Supreme Court issued a mandamus that directed several government agencies to rehabilitate the Manila Bay. Back then, the bay was alarmingly degrading in terms of water quality and biodiversity. The Department of Science and Technology responded through the IM4 Manila Bay program. It aims to characterize Manila Bay and its watershed and linked environments to provide information through water quality monitoring and mapping, hydrodynamic and hydrologic modeling, and dredge materials and solid waste management. These were the four projects that implemented the objectives of the program, one of which is Project ESOR, which stands for Ecosystem Modeling and Material Transport Analysis for the Rehabilitation of Manila Bay. This video will walk you through how we did it, what we found out, and who we were able to share our research with. The team started by collecting primary and secondary data while developing initial computer models. A lot of pre-processing work had to be done to use this data as input to three numerical models. First, a hydrologic model, which estimates how much rain that fall on these areas end up in Manila Bay through its surrounding rivers. Second, a hydrodynamic model, which simulates how the water moves in the bay, Laguna Lake, and Pasig River by considering forces like wind, tides, and river discharges. And finally, a water quality model, which gives us an idea of how nutrients and other biochemical processes move around these waters. With these powerful tools, we can now have insights on environmental scenarios. Say someone throws garbage in this location during the dry season. This is where those pollutants go after 9 days, 12 days, a month, 3 months, and half a year. However, during the wet season, it takes a different path. Let's focus on one particle. This one traverses in a clockwise circular path before it finds its way out of the bay. Those are only some of the many questions we could answer through numerical modeling. Project eSmart adopted a science communication framework in sharing its research findings to a wide range of audiences. We presented our research work to the scientific community through online conferences and journal publications. The team published two papers and participated in five conferences for a total of 21 presentations. We developed eSmart Academy, an online learning platform to facilitate capacity building for our key stakeholders. The platform has four training modules, all of which were delivered to the Laguna Lake Development Authority, Manila Bay Coordinating Office, and our academic partner, Faith Colleges. We were able to reach the public through our Facebook posts. Each one aims to increase accessibility and appreciation to the research by simplifying technical information without sacrificing the science. All of this comes together on our official website. It serves as a repository of our research work where you can download our data products like maps, datasets, read research or blog articles, and watch webinars. With all the knowledge generated from Project eSmart, we are now a step closer to realizing a healthier Manila Bay.